gals and guys, it's Steph with Tiny's Garden, and today I am out here late April, April 28th, in Zone 5B, the Chicago suburbs, little stuffed up, but I can't wait any longer. I want to get these spring planters planted up on my front porch. You can see on each side of my shoulder, there and there, I've got these beautiful big planters I bought yet last year. They're a gorgeous kind of pearl color. I think it looks really nice with the black dark exterior of our house and I want to get some beautiful green color and a little bit of a bunch of different colors as well to welcome spring if it ever comes here in the Midwest. Here are some goodies I picked up at my local garden center. For those of you who are local, I got these at Chalet and I'll go through exactly what I'm going to use and why I'm using what I'm using, but I've also got some stuff in the greenhouse from seed that I've grown that I want to use as well. But as I'm walking back here, one of the reasons I'm putting my own together are to buy a pre-made one that looks really nice and full and is as big as those planters are. In my area can be anywhere from $150 to upwards of over 200 and I just don't want to pay that. And it is fun to make your own too for at a cheaper, more affordable price because a lot of those things I can leave in there from spring to summer into fall and get a lot of use out of them too. So that's my thinking here. Now we're in the greenhouse and I've got all of these pansies over here and I didn't ID them as good as I could have. I know a lot of them are blotch pansy mix and then I've also got some violas over here I'll show you. And this is the tray that suffered quite a bit while I was gone but the ones that are good I'm gonna take some of those and get them in there too. So let's get these trays over there. Let's take a look at what I'm planting in here today. These beautiful taller plants are Euphorbia, the Ascot, oh no, not Ascot Rainbow, Rainbow Spurge. I grew the Ascot Rainbow before. They're a little different at the top here, but I think that variegation is so pretty. And actually, these are, that one's a little wonky, but it'll be fine. These are a perennial hardiness zones five through nine and sun to part shade for these. Then we have some English ivy down here and I also have, I think this is Algerian ivy over here. Now when I set this up to figure out what I was going to plant, I thought maybe I'd use this and this, but when I put them all together beside each other along with this lemon cypress at the store, this variegation with this variegation I thought was too much too busy. So that's why I picked up the English Ivy because that will pair really nicely this solid but still beautiful green color here with that next to this vibrant green from the Lemon Cypress. And then also last but not least down here Carnival Rose Granita Coral Bells. And so these will go in and I can also pluck these out and put them in the landscape afterward. Part shade there too. So these will go in different pots on the side of my house and they'll be beautiful there. And then we've got all my pansies from seed. Woohoo! I also found some Swiss Giants mix in here and for these back here, antique shades, the violas, brush strokes violas, and frizzle sizzle. So let's get rocking here and get the soil in the pot. And quickly to show you what I do to take up some space in these pots is I did this at Christmas time with filling this with a Christmas decoration piece and I just put gift wrapping stuffing that I get a whole bunch of with you know packages and gifts coming in for Christmas. So it takes up space so I don't have to use quite as much soil. A really neat space saving idea. And now I can use them for my spring pots and summer pots as well.
Now this lemon cypress will not winter over. I'll have to make sure I take it out and bring it inside to winter over, but that's fine with me. I can still use it for three seasons. So I've got a dead piece right over here. I'm gonna clip that off and then pop it in the pot. Now that it's out, I wanna detangle the roots a little bit. Fertilizer, I forgot fertilizer. I gotta glue my fertilizer. And I'm using my trusty Biotone Starter Fertilizer. It's a slow release fertilizer and it'll keep slowly, gradually feeding these plants throughout the season. Now I've created a hole here with my fertilizer at the bottom and broadcast spread it everywhere else. I'm gonna set my lemon cypress in there a little off to the side so I've got room for my euphorbia on the opposite side. It smells so nice and lemony. here coming along and then I'm gonna pop those little violas in the front there oh I can't wait to see the color when those pansies come she's going in there's her beautiful roots oh I love it and I forgot my secret weapon I have one more thing I'm putting in there to add vertical interest giant pussy willow so pretty and these are real too not plastic let's add those in for some vertical interest and a little pizzazz Okay, coming in towards it here. I like it. I like it. I've got a spiller. I've got some thriller. And I've got some height. Which is nice because if I back up here, I want you to see the difference that Willow makes. I'm hoping you can see because of the light. But because we got this added on, this portico that I love. I think it's beautiful. Added onto our house. Without those little willow branches, I feel like this would look, I mean, it'd look okay. It would be fine. But with the willow, I just feel like that height gives it that extra ump of a presentation at the front door. Here we go. So I've slightly angled them so it's like it's welcoming whoever is coming up to our front doorstep and they're mirroring each other. So I planted both of them in a way in which as you're coming up, they mirror the same image on each side. And I'm just really thankful that I did this. I Containers aren't always my strong suit and I feel like I'm getting better. So don't be afraid to try things that you're not necessarily the best at because Sometimes you find something really beautiful out of it. So let's get these watered in. Hello, hello, it's a new day and I've been waiting for the sun to come out so I can show you these in the sun because they are completely done, but 
it's been nothing but clouds and rain in the Midwest for at least a week. So sorry I don't have sun with me today. But these containers are done and I'm really, really pleased. They've already started to fill in quite a bit. So let's take a little closer look. As you can see here, they're filling in really nicely with those pansies and the euchre. And the lemon cypress is just glowing, which I really love. And that foliage with the variegation from the euphorbia just sets it apart. And with the height of the willow against the black house, it's really working for me. And this one over here, also looking really pretty. And there's even a little bud just waiting to blossom. And here you can see the difference with those planters planted up to the front door, just really adds a welcoming statement piece type of vibe. And those tulips, y'all, those tulips are coming. Look at those bulb heads. Oh, I can't wait. So if our spring ever does really pick up, imagine those tulips and bloom and those are quite colorful with those planters as you come up to the portico oh i'm so ready for that and guys check this out if this isn't a sign of spring i don't know what is i've got to be quiet here there's a bird in her nest up there i wonder if she's laying eggs i don't know if you can see her and i don't want to disturb her but she's made a nest up there and she's just laying on it. We may have some babies soon. Oh, amazing. Man, I hope you can see that from here. That's really special. I hope that's our sign of spring kicking into action soon. And on that note, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you found this helpful and maybe a little inspiration for some containers for spring. I appreciate how they're subdued. They're not too loud. But when those pansies open up and there's all that color from the pansies, it's just going to add a little pizzazz. So that's what I've done for my spring containers this year. Please let me know what you're planning up your containers with. I love to hear your ideas. And if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel to follow along here with all things garden. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, happy planting.